Hi, little yogis. Welcome to your Wednesday afternoon of yoga. Just finding a comfortable seated position. Doesn't matter if it's cross-legged, legs out in front, legs wide. You might be sitting on a cushion, whatever feels good for your hips. Today's not about standing on your head, turning you into a pretzel. Today's about enjoying your body, enjoying your mind and connecting your mind and your body together so that you can be able to relax, so that you can focus better, so you can feel good, so you can smile. So just take out today what you can, have a go, try everything. If you don't like it, doesn't matter. And if you love it, even better. So we're gonna start taking our socks off. So if you've got socks on at home, please remove them. It does get a little slippery and you have to tense the feet. So then it's not good for those muscles and the arches of your feet if you have to tense. So just making sure socks are off, comfortable seated position. And we're gonna close our eyes, relax our shoulders, big circles so that they fall away from our ears. Sit tall so we're not hunching over. I want you to sit tall. Imagine a piece of string tied to the roof pulling you from the top of your head. Relax the jaw, let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. And we're going to start deep breathing, making a little bit of noise here at the back of the throat. So inhaling in through the nose to the back of the throat. It's going to sound a bit weird. Exhaling from the back of the throat in through the mouth. You're creating a HA sound, a sound, like we're trying to fog the mirror up in the bathroom. Keep breathing here, making a noise. Hopefully you're at home and no one's around you. You can make as much noise as possible. You're breathing into the chest, filling that chest up with air and then exhaling, releasing all that air. This is called our Ujjayi breath. This is our victorious breath, really strong breath. A couple of things that it does for you is it calms your nervous system. Great if you've got exams going on. Great if you're stressed for any reason if you just need to slow down. My favourite is after a run. It slows that heart rate down, slows your nervous system down so that you can actually return to your normal breath, your normal breathing. So keep breathing here. And if you can, throughout each movement, keep that ujjayi breath, keep that noisy breath activated. Two more big breaths. Fill that chest up with air. Exhale it all. One more. Open your eyes and as you inhale, reach your arms up above your head. On your exhale, we're going to reach over to the right. Place that right hand on the floor, reaching over. Now you only reach a little bit. You might reach as far over as you can go. Soften that right elbow so he's not locked. On your inhale, reach tall, reach high. Exhale as we reach over to the left. Relax that neck. Having a breath there. Side stretching that whole body. Inhale as you reach all the way up. And again, exhale, reach over to that right. On that inhale, all the way up. Exhale over to that left. And inhale all the way up. And take your hands to heart. If you're cross-legged, swap over your cross-legged. If your legs are out in front, stay there. Inhale, reach tall. It should be a little bit more uncomfortable on the hips. Hinge from the hips and lean forward. You might only reach your knees. You might reach the floor. You might get your forehead to the floor. Keep your bottom sitting onto the mat. Let the chin come in towards that chest and take two big breaths, really noisy breaths. One more. Inhale, reach arms all the way up. Take your hands to heart. And we're going to find ourselves on our hands and knees. So you might rock over your knees. You might take your knees around, or feet around, so you're on your knees. Taking hands and knees, make sure those socks are off. Maybe tuck your tops in so you feel comfortable. You're not getting smothered in the face. And we're going to do some big circles of our hips here. Big, slow circles. Feel the shoulders stretch, the hips stretch. Remember, you're at home. No one can see you. Maybe only family. And then circle the other way. There are some students in here, so the people around you can see you. That's okay. One more big circle. 
The part about yoga is to feel good about your body, not worried, not stressed, not worried about what other people think. Take your shoulders away from your ears. You're going to tuck your toes, lift your tailbone to the ceiling and what we call a downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent, arms straight, draw your belly button in. So suck your belly button into your spine, lift your tailbone high. Big breath here. Exhale through the nose. Inhale high on the toes. Knees to the mat, untuck your toes, take your forehead to the floor, hips on your heels. This is called child's pose. Just relax the forehead to the floor. Leave your arms long. You might want to take your knees a little bit wider to fit your chest in between your thighs if that feels more comfortable for you. We're stretching that lower back, the front of the shins, but our forehead to the floor, it relaxes you. It softens. It calms the nervous system. One more big breath here. Inhale, come up onto all fours, tuck your toes again, exhale as you take your hips back up into your downward facing dog. Feel your calves stretch for the length of your spine, reach that tailbone up to the ceiling. As you inhale, come up onto all fours, high on the toes, knees to the mat, untuck your toes, forehead to the floor again. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale as you come up onto all fours, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, lift those hips high. Inhale, come high on the toes, knees to the mat, untuck your toes, child's pose. So forehead to the floor. One more. Inhale, come up onto all fours, tuck your toes, downward facing dog on the exhale. Inhale, high on the toes, knees to the mat, untuck your toes, forehead to the floor, child's pose. Have a breath. Warming up that spine. As you inhale, walk your arms long. Come up with what they're called cupcake fingers. There's little cupcakes under your hands. You don't want to squish them. They're for after. Let the forehead fall towards the floor. It doesn't matter if it doesn't touch. Big inhale. Exhale, walk your arms and torso over to the left. Keep your hips where they are, and you're going to feel a side stretch all down the right side of the body. Each of those ribs are spreading out. The intercostal muscles are stretching out here. Relax the jaw. Big breath. Inhale as you come back to centre. Exhale, walk over to the right, head underneath that left armpit, feeling the stretch down the left side from the shoulder to the hip. One more breath. And inhale as you come back to centre. You're going to plug in those hands, little fingers touching the edge of your mat. Inhale as you come up onto all fours. This time we're going to lay to the floor. Taking the hands under the shoulders, point your toes. Inhale as you lift up your chest, peel your shoulders back. Exhale as you lower to the floor. Little back bends. Back bends are energizing. Inhale as you lift up again. Looking forward. Exhale as you lower. One more. Inhale as you lift up. This time shift your hips back up into your hands and knees and circle out your hips. One circle one way. One circle the other. Inhale. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips into downward facing dog. This time inhale high on the toes. Then we're going to walk our feet in between our hands. Doesn't matter how many steps. Take your feet nice and wide, the width of your hips. Inhale, we're going to lift up halfway. Legs are straight, back is flat, hands onto our knees. Bend the knees and fold on that exhale. Look behind you again. Halfway lift, so lift up the chest, shoulders away from the ears, straight legs. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. One more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. This time reach for the sky, reach your arms up, stand tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Right, like roll those shoulders away from your ears. Relax the jaw. Take that left foot underneath the hips, so it's directly underneath. Lift your left toes, spread them and ground them into the floor, so you're plugging in. Come high on those right toes. Find your balance in that left leg. Squeeze your belly. Squeeze all around your hips here to help hold that balance. Inhale, let's lift up that right knee. Find your balance. Exhale, we're going to take that heel behind us. Now we're going to find, reach forward with that heart. This is called our warrior three, our strong warrior. If you've got a wall beside you, you might reach for a wall here. You might reach for the floor. Try and hold that lift, that right heel high. Feel the stretch into that left hamstring. Inhale, we're going to bend the knee and we're going to try and step all the way back. Doesn't matter if it takes a few steps, high on those toes. The balance is hard, take that back heel down. 
Inhale, reach your arms nice and tall. Exhale, open up. Take the back heel to the floor. Face your right. Arms at shoulder height. Good. Front knee is bent. This is our warrior two. Flip the front palm to the ceiling. Have a big reach on your inhale. Paint the ceiling and reach up and behind on that exhale. Let's stay here for a breath. Feel the side stretch down that left side of the body. Inhale, come back up into your warrior two. Taking your hands to either side of that front foot. You're going to plug in your right hand. Inhale, left arm up and let's have a twist. Draw your belly button into your spine. Relax your shoulder. Big breath. Exhale as that hand comes back down. Look forward. You're going to step that right foot forward on an exhale. It might take five steps. You might take one. Do a halfway lift again. Belly to the spine. Shoulders away from the ears. Fold on the exhale, bend the knees, reach for the sky, stand tall, inhale. Hands to heart on that exhale. We're going to do the same on the other side, balance out the body. Lift the right toes, spread them and ground them into the floor. Come high on the toes of that left foot. Squeeze all around the belly, make sure everything is strong. Inhale, let's lift up that left knee. You might take the hand to help. You might have a wall beside you for balance. Get ready to like a seesaw. We're going to Shift our heart forward, take that left heel behind. Finding your balance. Balances are so hard, you've got to find a focal point here. It's what the yogis call a drishti. So we're going to find something that we stare at to help with that balance. Keep pushing through both heels. Take the shoulders back, but the heart forward. One more breath. Doesn't matter if you fall, we're all humans. Now we're going to step back high on those toes. So bend that right knee, step back. Inhale, let's reach our arms up to the sky. Good. Pushing that left heel back and then we're going to turn to the left into our warrior two. Inhale, as we turn to the left, back heel comes down. Front knee's bent over that ankle. Flip that front palm. I'm going to reach forward and all the way up and back on your exhale. Think about painting that ceiling with your fingertips. Big breath. Inhale, as you come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to either side of that front foot. Come high on your back toes. Plug in that left hand. Inhale, right arm up and let's have a twist. Big breath. Well done. Inhale. Exhale as that hand comes back down. Look forward. And we're going to step that left foot forward on that exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale as you fold. Reach for the sky again all the way up. Exhale, take your hands to heart again. Roll those shoulders away from the ears. Plug in that right foot. Inhale, let's lift up that left knee again. High on those toes. Squeeze the belly again. As we inhale, let's lift all the way up. This time, we're going to cross our left knee over the right. And just squeeze and just find your balance. This is the hardest part is finding the balance. Some of you might find it hard to get the leg over. You might reach for a walk because it's a balance. You might be able to get the toes behind the calf. Sit a little lower and feel the squishiness into the hips. Slowly come back up on your inhale. Exhale, we're going to step back. High on those toes again. Inhale as we reach all the way up. Exhale into your warrior two again. So adjust the feet, front knee over that ankle, arms to shoulder height. Flip the front palm, inhale. Reach all the way up and back on that exhale. Inhale, come back up into your warrior two. This time, straighten the front leg. Push the hips back and reach forward. You're going to feel a stretch on that inner thigh. Reaching forward, inhale. And hinging from the hips, take the right hand on the inside of the leg. Left arm up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch on every part of the side of the body, all the sides. Inner thigh, outer thigh, your waist, your shoulders, your arms. One more breath. Inhale, come back up, bend that front knee. Exhale, let's reverse again. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to either side of that front foot. This time, you're going to step the right foot back into a plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees to the mat. Untuck your toes, lower the chest to the floor. Cobra, inhale, peel the shoulders up. Shift your hips back. Exhale, child's pose. Stay here for a few breaths and just relax the forehead. Feel the back, the lower back stretch, the glute stretch. One more breath. And inhale, come back up onto all fours. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog on that exhale. Have a breath. 
Inhale, high on the toes. Walk your feet to your hands again. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten the back, straight leg. Bend the knees and fold, exhale, reach for the sky, inhale. Hands to heart on that exhale. You know where we're heading to balance out the body. So lift the left toes, spread them and ground them into the floor. Come up high onto those right toes, squeeze the belly again. Inhale, let's lift up that knee. Bend that left leg and take the right knee over the top and just feel the knees squish together like we're crossing our legs as we're sitting down. You just don't have the chair under you, so don't fall. Reach for the chair or reach for a wall. One more breath. Inhale as you lift all the way back up. Let's step back. So seesaw the arms and the legs as you sit back. Reach all the way up. Inhale. Warrior two on that exhale. Back heel down. Front knee is bent. Flip the front palm. Inhale. Reverse exhale. Paint that ceiling. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Straighten that front leg. Push the hips back. Reach forward. Squeeze. As you inhale, both legs are straight. Exhale. Left hand on the inside of that left leg. Right arm up to the ceiling. It doesn't matter which way you look with your neck. As long as your neck feels okay. Keep pushing the hips back. Both legs are straight. Arms are nice and long reaching. One more breath. Squeeze the belly. Bend that front knee as you come up onto that. Inhale. Reverse exhale. Paint the ceiling again. Inhale as you come all the way back up. Hands to either side of that front foot. And again, this time, step back into your plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees to the mat. Untuck the toes. Lower the heart. Cobra inhale. So lift the chest forward. Shift back on that exhale. Stay in your child's pose. Forehead to the floor. Okay, notice of how the glutes feel all around your bottom, your hips, your legs. Inhale, come up onto all fours. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog, exhale. Now this one's a fun one. You might stay here if it doesn't feel good on the wrist. Right heel to the sky, as you lift high. This is called your three-legged dog. And then on your exhale, you're going to take your right knee to your right elbow and your foot to the left. So you're crossing over so your shin comes to the floor. Walk that left foot back. Now if you've got knee injuries, please be careful. You might place a cushion underneath that right hip. We're stretching out all the lower back here, all the glutes, all up down into your quads, into the right side of that leg. Walk your torso up, lift up that chest, big inhale. Exhale, let's fold, come down onto your forearms. Feel that stretch into that lower back. Really good if you have any sciatica issues. If it doesn't feel like much to you, you can keep walking and take your arms long and forehead to the floor. One more big breath. On your inhale, walk your arms and torso up, plug in your hands, move any blocks or props out of the way as you shift your right hip to the floor, swing your left leg around, sole of that right foot is on the inner thigh, flex those left toes. Inhale, let's reach tall. Twist to the right, taking that left elbow on the inside of the thigh. Reaching all the way up, feeling that side stretch right into that right hip. One more breath. Keep the left toes flexed. Inhale all the way up. And this is what I call disco dance. Take the right hand to the floor, point those left toes. Lift the hips as you reach up and back. It's a little back bend for the front of the body stretch. One more breath. Exhale as your hips come back down. We're going to find our way into downward facing dog. Take that left foot back, hands underneath the shoulders and shifting into your downward facing dog. If it felt good on the right side, let's take that left heel high. Inhale, three-legged dog. On your exhale, knee to left elbow, foot to right. Take the shin to the floor. Come into what we call this our pigeon, our sleeping pigeon. Take the right leg back. It's not about having the shin parallel to the top of the mat. The foot doesn't have to be. It can be back here as long as you feel a stretch into your glutes. Inhale as you lift up the chest. Exhale as you fold. Maybe just to the forearms. Maybe taking the forehead to the floor and keep walking the arms long. Really good if you've been for a run, if you've been sitting all day, anything to help stretch out that lower back. 
One more big breath. Inhale, let's walk our arms and torso up. Move any cushions out of the way as you shift your left hip down, swing that right leg around, flex the toes, sole of that left foot on the inside of the thigh as you reach tall, inhale, twisting to that left knee as you take that right elbow on the inside of the, neck, the thigh. Inhale as you reach that left arm up and exhale as you're reaching over. Feel the stretch down that left side of the body. One more breath. Inhale, is both arms up. Take that left hand behind, point the toes, reach tall. Lift the hips, disco dance. One more breath. Exhale as the hips come back down. Find your way into your downward facing dog again. So take the foot behind, hands out in front. Lift the hips high. Inhale, high on the toes. Exhale, walk your feet to hands. Inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale as you fold, bend the knees, reach for the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Now this is where we're going to have a bit of fun, Mercy students. This is your peak pose that you're working towards. Now you're going to take, I'll face this way, make, make it a little bit easier. You're going to take your right hand forward and your left hand over top. Bend the elbows. Now you might take the back of the hands together here. They might not go together, so if they don't, that might feel more comfortable taking the elbows together and the hands. Okay, if, they, if you get the back of the hands together, take your right hand towards your face and your left hand around. You're trying to get your palms together. Not everyone's shoulders are going to be able to do this. If you've got them together, lift your elbows up away from the body, shoulders away from the ears, fingers away from the face. You're feeling a stretch into that left shoulder mainly. Take your feet together. Now we're going to inhale. And sit into a chair on that exhale. Keep your knees together as you sit back. If your balance is off, try and keep your heels on the ground. If your balance is off, stay here. If you want to, take your left knee up. Cross it over like we did before. This is our eagle pose, our Garudasana. A beautiful peak pose for today. Feeling all the joints compressed. So when we release, the fresh blood will come into all those joints. One more breath if you can. Find your balance. Let's back out, reverse out, legs first, left knee up, exhale as it comes down, let's reach our arms big, tall, reach for the sky, exhale, hands beside the body, let's swap it over, reach tall, inhale, taking that left arm forward, right arm over the top, bend the elbows, again, either back of the hands, or you can take the elbows, so that's just as hard sometimes, taking the hands, so palms together, big inhale, shoulders away from the ears, hands away from the face, squeeze the belly here. Exhale, sit into chair. Good. Or I should say stool. Chairs are never this high, are they? Inhale as you lift up that right leg and then maybe cross over. And if the balance is off, just stay into your chair. Good. Two big breaths. Find your drishti, your focal point. Good. Inhale, let's come back up. Knee first, foot to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, hands beside the body. Go in. We're going to sit all the way to the floor. Make sure there's nothing behind you. We always have to do a little bit of core before we get down to our supine stretches, our laying down. So either take your fingers out in front, fingers beside the hips, on the back of the thighs. It's going to depend on your hip flexors and your core here. So everyone do what feels good for you. You're going to lift up one foot at a time. Flex the toes, shins parallel to the ceiling. You're going to feel it in your quads, your hip flexors and your core. Lift up the other one. So this is where you're going to depend on where your hands are at. Everyone's different. Muscles will start shaking if they're tired. Inhale. Straighten out that, the legs on the exhale. This is our boat pose. Imagine floating just by on your glutes here. You might stay here. You might want to touch your toes to the floor if you've had enough into the quads. Or we're going to come up and down three times. This is the, the test here. So inhale, stretch it out. Don't let the heels touch the floor. Exhale into your boat. So come back up, use your core. Two more, inhale, exhale up. One more. And exhale up, hold it if you can. And the fun part is to try and get on the ground without 
Lopping down. Point the toes, reach the arms, big long stretch. Exhale, hug the knees to the chest, big squeeze. Feet to the floor. We're coming into a back bend. Back bends are fantastic. They're awakening, they're energizing. So it's like having your broccoli or your coffee, whatever you use. Take your soles of the feet to the floor. Take your heels close towards your bottom. Your knees and your feet are the same distance as your hips. They're not way out and they're not together. Take your palms onto the floor beside your hips and push through your feet as you inhale. Lift up your hips. Take your hips to the sky. Squeeze your glutes. Don't let the chin push into the chest. Breathe into your belly. Keep squeezing those glutes. One more big breath. Exhale as you let the hips come all the way down and get a windscreen wipe your knees from side to side, just like the windscreen wipers on the car. We're going to do one more round. It's the middle of the day after lunch. You tend to get a little bit sleepy, so we're going to do one more little barocca here. Feet back to the floor, plug in those heels. You might want to go a little deeper this time, so plug in those hands. Inhale, lift up your hips, squeeze the glutes, and maybe interlace the hands underneath the bottom. You might roll your shoulder blades under a bit more. Listen to what your body feels good with doing. Two big breaths. Breathe into the belly. One more. And exhale as you lower down, slowly releasing the hands. Windscreen wiper those knees from side to side. Come back to centre. Hug the right knee into the chest, straighten out that left leg. Now take that right knee over to the right armpit a little bit. So he's bypassing those ribs. You feel that stretch into the right hip flexor a little bit, into the glutes. Big breath. Exhale, let's take that knee over to the left. Stretch that right arm behind you. Look behind you. Big twist here. Feel that twist all the way down that spine into the hips. Relax the shoulders onto the floor. They start lifting off, try to unwind a little bit. One more big breath. Inhale as you come back to centre. Hug both knees in and then straighten out that right leg. Taking that left knee over to the left a little bit more. Bypass those ribs again. So you can really hug him into that armpit. One more breath. And then slowly on your inhale, bring that knee across to the centre. Exhale, the knee goes all the way over to the right. Left hand behind. Shimmy those shoulders so they're flat on the floor. Doesn't matter about the knee touching the floor. Look behind you, straightening out that left arm. Breathe into the waist here. So big breaths in. Feel that twist and the hips soften on that exhale. Inhale as you come back to centre, hug the knees into the chest. Now, grabbing the, either the backs of the thighs, take your knees wide, soles of the feet. It's like you're squatting on the ceiling, so the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. You might have the flexibility of the hips to grab the outer edges of your feet, elbows and the inside of your knees. This is what we call happy baby. So think of that little baby having a rock and having a laugh playing on the floor. So have a rock, feel the... Lower back massage into the mat. Feel the stretch into the hips there, the groin, the inner thighs. One more breath. Hug the knees to the chest. Take the hands underneath the bottom, palms facing down so you lift your bum up, and then take your heels to the ceiling. Legs are straight. Relax the shoulders. If it feels good, you might circle the ankles. You might stay still. Feeling the blood drain, the lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system is a one-way highway, so we're just trying to help it here. Now we're going to find our way into a final pose for our class. Kura Shavasana. Our Shavasana is our corpse pose. It's our final resting pose where we get to enjoy the benefits of everything that we've just done. You might want to stay here if that feels really good for you. Maybe take your heels up onto the wall. 
Notice you can lay flat, maybe legs long, arms wide, palms facing the ceiling. If the lower back doesn't allow you, keep your knees bent. The idea here is to close the eyes, listening to your breath, feeling your breath, observing the body as you let that body relax. Bring the toes soften, the heels, calves. Resting the body is just as important as activating all the systems, as moving the muscles. The quickest way for the body to heal, to repair itself. Observing the hips, the shoulders, and the tongue soften away from the roof of the mouth. Finding one more big deep breath. You're more than welcome to stay. We are at for your Shavasana. You're at home. You might be comfortable. Or if you'd like to join me in a comfortable seated position to seal our practice off, you can sit up. We seal our practice off with two breaths, our last one being an om. Om, you can join in or you can just listen and enjoy. Inhale, we reach tall. Hands to heart on the exhale, press the thumbs into the breastbone to feel the vibration of your arm. Deep inhale. Oh. Bow your forehead towards your fingertips, honouring your mind, your body and each other. Enjoy your last week of term, little yogis, and have an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. Namaste.